morning, how are you all doing? As you can see, I'm already in Belgrade, it was never this fast. I think I made it about hour and a half from uh, the station in Oisat to here in the center. So I have lots of free time. If, I, if it wasn't a race day today, I would probably walk from the station. But since it is a race day, I just pick up the public transport here to center. Short walk until some time passes and I will meet up with Andre, so we go to the club together. From experience, Belgrade is always a little bit colder than Novi Sad and some of the cities uh, on the north. So check it out, there is still much more snow than it was in Novi Sad. Yesterday the coach called me to pick up some brakes for this cyclocross bike which I didn't know for which one and he told me he prepared some new bike for me just to test if it's the right size if it is there's going to be a good surprise but it's a bit late to try out a new bike but it's not a world cup it's only a Serbian cup so I can try it After that burak in the morning some apples to make it healthy balance. Since it is much bigger city and of course the biggest one in Serbia, they cannot really take care of all streets and crosswalks but, but it's really like ice skating. Luckily I learned that, but... The moment of truth, here are all the cars, but that doesn't mean that someone is here. But we will check out if it is. That's a big plus, I won't have to wait here. On cold. To je kočica. Da. Pa pogledaj što to liči. Da, da. Pa nije ni čudo što je tak. Pa da. A u. <laughs> so much style in Andrej Galović. Now let's get it for a race. Race, race, race. Which one to choose? Which one to choose? At the end I didn't choose this one because we don't have all the parts but since it's the new bike I'm not sure should I take it. It's not the same size as this one. Since only one race is left, yeah, the, probably it's much more better to stay on the old bike. But I've put it new wheels, it's the tabular tires, they are much lighter. And as you saw everything works perfect now, it's much lighter, it will be much faster. And I'm pretty comfortable with this bike, so that's for sure the bike I will ride for the Nationals and hope to defend the title. Okay, it's 
and then at the finish line. Just mounting the GoPro and from now on the all shots will be from GoPro because unfortunately we must go by bikes or to the course which is about I'm not sure 3 4 k's from here so I'm carrying only the my wardrobe and the water and that's all so this big camera will stay here and that means not so great video and audio quality but anyway I hope you will see everything what's important and I'll talk to you more later. New tires and wheels feel so great, man. Yeah, great weather. It's warm. Yeah, Woo! bro. So this is the course. As you can see, the ice is slowly melting, but still there are many slippery parts, some muddy parts also. And I won't talk anymore. The all action you will see in a special uh, race video which will come the day after this and I'll try to find some shots of the race if someone will record them but anyway see you later Unbelievable! Alexa is back! <laughs> it's coming! <laughs> Haha, <laughs> so big temptation, so hungry after all this. I didn't eat much for the whole day, but anyway, we don't have so much time. I forgot my cell phone at the club's car, so I'm going to pick that up and then rush into the bus because it's already four o'clock so still have one hour to hour and a half actually to arrive in Novi Sad and then upload the race video and stuff so not much time but some beer will wait for me phone is back bus station Belgrade Finally home, the day went just so fast, I immediately edited that whole race video and it's already uploaded. I was so hungry for the whole day, I didn't eat any very good food, only that burek at the morning, but right now I'm like that puffy fish, I don't know how it's called, but my stomach is going to explode. But anyway... I don't know if you have noticed, I didn't put those t titles over the video, but this is 50th vlog, 50 days without pausing every day one video. <laughs> I 
I don't know what to say. It it passed so fast. First of all, I want to thank you all. First of all, I want to thank you all for watching my videos, commenting, sharing, uh, sharing your opinions, uh, talking with me, everything. I really appreciate that. This was really good test for me. Uh, it, I learned so much from everyday vlogging. It uh, improved me on some some kind. Uh, it improved my time organization. Everyday editing and recording a video really. If you don't try it, you won't understand. At first, I was like, why would I do it? Who will watch it? I don't know. But at the end, I just said, even if I don't succeed, I just can tell you, I did 50 vlogs and you didn't. But I really don't want to stop it right now. The channel is growing every day and everything is coming better. I learn, as I said, so much. I'm improving videos. Check this out. I, If you can see the shade on me, I bought some reflector for, for some of my videos. And everything is improving. And uh, But I wanted to make a couple of changes. As you saw in that previous video, I asked for your opinions and some of those are Tony Ramos. Thanks for watching. I know you watch almost every video. Really, I appreciate that you said. Of course, you cannot film only about cycling. We watch your channel because of your cycling, but life is more than that. Like a few weeks ago, you showed something about singing in church. Okay, was not my thing, but cool. Just keep post what you like. Keep going strong. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm not recording this because of you or you or you. I'm recording this because of me. I like recording and everything I said before, I don't want to repeat it. Even if no one will watch it, I'll record it. But what are the improvements I will make? First of all, I won't make a video every day. Yes, no everyday vlogging. Why? It stops me from uh, doing the best I can. You cannot do best you can every day. You can if you are a three-man team like Yoon Olson is right now and having all those thousands and hundreds of thousands in the video equipment and he can pay someone to edit his vlog in 30 minutes and he doesn't care. And of course he does those hurricane burnouts and stuff. It cannot be boring for you. What is the problem right now? The problem is that I don't have enough time to make the best video I can. I have all many video editing techniques. I even don't color grade my video. Check this out how the video would look look like if I color grade it. Yeah, that's some kind of style, you know. But I really don't have much time to do it. So what I want to change. First, the content. I will uh, separate the camera videos, the vlog videos, the race videos, tips videos. So that means I will post specific videos which won't take more than five minutes. You will uh, directly learn what you want. The title says everything. You want to learn that. You watch it. You don't want to learn that. You skip that video. If I talk about cameras, that's for some part of the people. If I talk about cycling, that's for most of you right now. Yes, it's not the perfect for channels. Some people will make another channel for something, another channel for something, but I won't do that, of course. But I really want to show everything I like and everything I, I know to do. So I hope you get that. Definitely, I will make insanely good uh, cycling videos, probably like the GCN level or something like that. But with one man job, it's really going to be hard, but I will keep it really, really give my myself everything I have to do it. Those bike reviews, uh, race, race reviews, uh, commentaries. Nah, I don't know everything. Trust me, it will it will be perfect. Of course, I will continue uploading all the races I'm on, all stuff I do, everything, but on the higher level. To keep it more simple but more interesting. 
that's all I had to say right now about the videos. I hope that you will agree. If there is something else you want to tell me, I get lots of messages on Instagram, Facebook. You can post them everything. If you know me personally, of course, it's even better. Post them anywhere you want. And that's all I had to say. Right now I will talk a little bit about the race. Here are some of the short uh, clips from the whole race and some of the viewers' uh, clips. You can see the whole uncut race video right over here. This is the start of the race. I felt very good, not very very worn up, but it was okay around zero, maybe one, two degrees. The ice was melting. It was really really slippery. I didn't felt that that slippery, I don't know, really really long time. It was so hard. But anyway, I started very, very good. My my teammate Andre Galovic was on my wheel for the first two laps. I didn't push it maximum, but he is in great shape and I'm really glad that he is. He's really training very good right now. I'm really, really happy. In that moment when you are first, you have enough time to speak to Kemen. After two laps I dropped him, but unfortunately one uh, lap later, as you can see, I've got a puncture. Front wheel tabular, I don't know what really happened. I did run a little bit less pressure in it, but the whole track, it, it, wa it was really, really with, uh, without any sharp uh, stuff and uh, I really don't know how I punctured it. But anyway, the problem is the bike, uh, spare bike wasn't ready. So we had to change the wheel, unfortunately it took some longer time, but anyway I started again hard, I was back on the 5th place right then, and this is the fun part, I pushed the guy so I can jump on my bike as soon as possible, at that time I was motivated, but you know that cold really stops you from pushing it 100%, but anyway I did every every next lap the thing was that there was only four laps left till the finish and the one lap was less than five minutes which is not really much you really have to be strong to to come back on the first place but anyway i was pushing 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 non-stop really don't didn't want to stop it and yeah at the last lap my my teammate andre really uh started something like to panic and he did two mistakes two small crashes and as you can see i'm really really on and as you can see i'm already back on his wheel that happened really fast but the thing is i knew that something like that will happen i knew that i will be on the first place anyway and so as you can see i just told him you know uh, national championships are next week don't rush man, don't risk, I don't want you to crash, I don't want me to crash, don't uh, get injured, next week is the big race right now, just go, don't go too fast, go as safe as you can, I'll let you finish in front of me, I don't care, I'm already first in the general classification, even if I didn't show up on the race, I will still be first, and yeah, that's all, he really thanked me, he's a great guy, and really that was all about the race. I'm in good shape right now, I did feel a little bit tired from that gym session, right now I will put some complex massage on my legs so they can recover even faster. That was all for to today's race final race of the cyclocross cup i hope you enjoyed congratulations to everyone who participated on the race and as i said next week that is 22nd of january if you are from serbia or planning to visit serbia on that date silver lake or srebrno jezero on our language that date i think it's around 11 o'clock but be somewhere earlier that place national championships in cyclocross please come to support all competitors kids women seniors are everyone i'm looking forward to that race i hope to see you there thanks for watching please subscribe see you in the next better video